Malovent, an, an, an indie horror game about the SCP known as Mallow. Now I discovered about this through a YouTube video that I did not watch fully through because all I knew is that it was about Mallow, and uh, to be fully honest, I'm actually kind of down bad for female Mallows. <laughs> yeah, I will admit it, I'm kind of painful for her. Pretty <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> and, and during the thing, and during like previous screens before it got to this main menu screen, is that apparently there's some SF, SFW stuff in here, so. That stuff will be blurred out for you guys on YouTube. Dude, which I'll probably do myself with the, and the, without using YouTube's auto blur thing. I think so, yeah, there's that. I got my I got a new gaming chair recently, so yeah, I've, I'll have better back posture. There, that's an update. That's no the no, premium. Now that you guys know of, so yeah, I'll be able to sit better, better while while streaming or recording. Yeah, you know, you know the stuff. <laughs> Because hey, I like visual novels. Visual novel games, they're they're fun. Quite interactive, so yeah. So anyways, let's get into this. This is a pretty awful version. There may be bugs, crashes, and other issues. Content is subject to change. Please report issues you find to an iFox's email. Default name for the protagonist is Henry Hart. You can change that now. What is your name? Leave blank for the default name of Henry. Uh, should I put my name or should I put my original demon name? Kaisel. You know what? I'll just do Kaisel. There you go. Surname. I guess we'll be put a morning star there. Whoa. Boom. Waterfall Institute. One of the best universities when it comes to computer science and engineering. The coursework is rigorous and meant to weed out anyone not committed to or not suited for their degree. Unfortunately for me, that level of academic challenge is kicking my ass at the moment. My name is Kaijo Morningstar. I'm a junior at Waterfall Institute. And as of late, I've hit a roadblock. Damn. I guess my intelligence isn't exactly keeping up at, uh, at, 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 at the human universities. I guess, uh, I, guess when it, I guess when it comes to certain things, they're smarter than I am. <laughs> it's what it is. I don't mind. Despite many hours of studying and me and my with my professors, my current classes are kicking my ass. Damn. I, I, I guess I'm just not focused enough. Well, there is that. The only reason I'm still barely passing is thanks to a classmate of mine. We she won. Ooh, she's cute. Very cute there. To be honest, she's struggling as well, but at least she understands the lectures and homework better than I do. Goodness. And, and thank God as well. Like, thank you, God. Thank you, Grandfather. Appreciate that. We've been getting together at the campus library every week to brute force our way through all our assignments. <laughs> brute force. Brute force. Kind of like how. Like how Oryx Berserker Rage uh, through, through traps in DD. Da 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 da! 
problem is that Shi Won is visiting her family in South Korea this week. Her her young brother Ji Hee is getting married. Oh, oh well, good for her brother. Good for her brother. Well, I wish them the best. This meets my prospects of completing this week's homework. This week's homework are grim. That that should be is grim now. Are grim, but whatever. It's difficult to coordinate on homework across an ocean. And then... And... Oh, an, an ocean and in drastically different time zones. By that, I didn't fully read that through. Especially when she won is likely drowning in all the prep work for the wedding. <laughs> hmm, someone's texting me. Speak the devil. It's she won. Devil, my father. Speak my father. vacation and immediately thought of you. Ah, so the she's where we get the app from. It's called Mallow. Yep, yep, yep. It should be free on the app store. <laughs> Let me know what you think. I'll be back in town and able to chat in a few days. It's not unusual for she wanted to send me memes and on apps she finds. But it's unusual is how my phone's viral level jumped all over the place. Back to normal now. Must have been a bug of some kind. Regardless, I might as well check out this Mallow app. But of course, <laughs> we know where that's going. <laughs> there, there it is. Version 1.0.0. Free. Well, ominous. It's stylized with O against, P, against pure black. Oh, <laughs> that, well, that's, uh... Well, that's honestly suspicious right there. It's got the character's name right there in the app description. That is very... That was me. That's very suspicious. Like, seriously, if I ever came across an app in an app store that had my name in there, I'd instantly be popped by that. Like, ooh. Not like that. I'd be worried if it was my full actual name. Like, um, uh... Yeah, no thank you. I just gotta play this app. Because chances are a stalker uh, I made it and just uh, no thank you. <laughs> Prescription app is interesting. Rekaijal, that never sell for those awkward feelings of being alone ever again. Mallow is an exciting and interactive experience that will keep you engaged and intrigued. The anxiety of social situations can be nerve-wracking, but after just a few hours of Mallow, you will soon forget all those painful emotions of disappointment. Be part of a new, the new craze that has quickly become the next social substitute. Remember, the more you participate, the more Mallow will engage you. Your experience is completely up to you. It's weird that the description has my name in it. Oh, well, no shit! I mean, I mean, I mean not just weird, but uh, fucking creepy as hell. I mean, seriously. Just downright creepy. And that call out about anxiety hits hits close to home. Oh, well, gee, no shit! <laughs> Thanks, you one. You really know how to bury the dagger deep. Still, if she recommended it, what harm is there in trying the app out? It's not like the app store allows malware. Plus, there's supposedly no ads on top of being free. <laughs> oh, please. No ads and free. Stuff like that always comes with the cash. Seriously, I've learned that the hard way. Never expect anything to be fully free. And if and if someone's advertised to be free with no ads, that means there that, there's de that means there's definitely something fishy about it. So yeah, do yourself a favor and do not trust it. Just don't. Worst case, it'll, it'll just be some jet GPT knockoff that I can delete later. <laughs> I hit the install button. I set my phone aside as the app downloads. I'm dragging myself out of bed so I can at least get something done today. By the time I turn from the bathroom, my phone's done installing Mallow. Where's what it seems? When I look through my list of app icons and shortcuts, there's nothing new. Maybe the install broke in some way. 
I navigate back to the app store. Try to look up the Mallow app once more. Nah, that's just part, that's just part of how Mallow works. The app never sh shows up on never shows up on this on the phone screen. Strangely, there's no longer any results in my shirt search. Maybe I just so happened to download Mallow as it got pulled from the app store for some reason. Well, I'm out of bed now. Might as well attempt to get some homework done. Though without she Wan around, that's going to be challenging. After three hours of beating my head against the wall, I give up and turn to gaming. Damn! Apparently, uh, this, uh, your universe, apparently we have a better ga gaming setup in this universe. Like, holy shit. Our computer is well and a better monitor setup. Like, damn. Wish I had that. Wish I had that set up there. <sighs> I only get an hour before my phone chimes. Is that she won again? Inside of a text, my phone showed me a photo of the main food or of the Waterfall Institute. Who said this? Why is my fire level fl fluctuating again? I'm about to reboot my phone when I know something odd about the photo. There, between the pillars. Oh yeah, I see her. She's right, she's right there. Hello. It's something out of place. Someone is wearing some kind of animalistic skull mask. The, on, the, on, the elongated snout makes me think of canines. Like a dog, fox, or wolf. A quick search on my computer makes me think it's meant to be the latter. I can't make out the figure's body from this angle with the lighting conditions. Vaguely humanoid, but beyond that and the mask, I can't pick out any distinguishing features. The other people in this photo are given this weird any attention like you might expect. The one wearing the mask is staring right at the camera too. Creepy. Damn right it's creepy. Either there's some kind of practical joke or I got this picture by accident. There's no way of seeing, of seeing who's at the photo as this isn't the usual messaging app. After trying a few things, my only options are to zoom the photo and quit out. Naturally, I do the letter. I also note that my back spike goes back to normal as a result. Right, that's a good fantasy game. The hours fly by. I'm only pulled out of my game when my phone chimes again. I thought I was hearing things earlier, but there is something off about my notification sound. I pick up my phone and expect to see a text from my family, something from she won, or an email. There's, there's Mel again, back there. And the battery's fluctuating again. Is that that, and greeted by another mysterious photo. This time, it's one of the quads on campus. Specifically, between four of the major lecture halls. And sure enough, the person in the wolf skull mask is there too. Closer to the camera than the first picture, but they're still far away to be obscured. Again, no one else in the photo seems to notice or care about them. As the saying goes, once this happens, stands, twice is coincidence, three times is enemy action. <laughs> first time, first time I, I've heard, I've heard the, uh, I, I've heard, I've heard that last one there. Three times is enemy action. <laughs> <coughs> oh shit. I'll know that this is something far more serious than someone sending to the wrong number. For now, I quit, shake my head, to clear my thoughts, then get up from my desk to fix dinner. Oh, the music changed! The music changed! No, oh, things are about to get so serious! After a scarf and down my meal, it's right back to my computer. I'm my someone online until 11 p.m., when, at which point I turn everything off and get ready for bed. My phone makes a noise the instant my head hits the pillow. Could it be? Oh, right there. There she is. She is right there. Damn it, another photo! I recognize the location as the third floor of the university's main library. That's where she and I usually study together in one of the meeting rooms. The picture doesn't show said rooms, 
but it does have the wolf skull individual again. They're peeking out from behind one of the stacks of books as, as if they were playing hide and seek. At this point, I have to face reality. This is no longer a case of getting messages meant for someone else. Someone is deliberately sending me these photos, but why? If it's an elaborate prank, then it has stopped being the fun kind. Are they trying to unnerve or threaten me into doing something? Could whom, could whomever they are be a stalker? One the first time something like this happened at Waterfall? The university has has an interesting history to say the least, but none of that helps me out. Oh boy, what kind of history? I'm honestly curious as to what kind of history Waterfall University has. Like, is it bad history? Is it some... Is it some weird history or something like that? Like, is it haunted? Maybe? I want to know. I want to know. Now I have to decide what to do. Rather, assess what I can do about this. There's no phone number to block or report, which is what I normally do in this kind of situation. My only lead is that the Mallow app could be related in some way. I checked the list of apps on my phone. Nothing, no sign of Mallow. Maybe I should back up my data to fully reset my phone? Hmm. Let's give it a try. Try. There's a chance that I reset my phone won't do anything, but I have to try. An hour later, I have, I have a just like new phone. However, the mysterious images are still in my gallery. How did those photos survive a factory reset? Slide, I sign, I set my phone aside, pull up the covers, and try to get some sleep. It takes a bit for me to nod off, but once I do, I get a blissful seven hours of rest. <sighs> I'm awoken in the morning by my phone's alarm. When I go to silence it, I'm greeted by an unwelcome image. Okay. Oh, and now they're even closer! Yep, that's the student's lunch where I sometimes nap between classes. And the power fluctuation thing is still going on. Honestly, I would never... I think it might be the Mallow app doing that. Well, to be honest, I never heard of Mallow app messing with the phone's, like, fire percentage, making it fluctuate. And guess who's in one of the many cubicles looking right at the camera again? Glowing red eyes. Guess resetting did absolutely nothing. Damn it! I swipe away the disturbing photo and stare at my home screen. Why is this happening to me? What am I supposed to do? That's what I know is a notification from my news app. Auto flags tech articles from the local news outlet so I can keep up with current events. I thumb over the news app and open it up. I graded with an article about some people's bank accounts being compromised. Nice. Oh, shit. <laughs> Which stands out immediately with... is that all 20 of the affected people downloaded a new app the previous day. Oh, shit. Unlike the Mallow app, this one disappeared from the store and showed no signs of being installed. Well, that's a lesson that I think. The article goes... The article goes on to list of the damages and the thousands of dollars. Did my accounts get hit too? I rushed over to the computer to check my bank. I don't trust my phone at this point. <laughs> I'd be afraid too, because if I had downloaded a mysterious app that matches the desktop description and a news article that I read, I'd be pan panicking too, like, oh fuck. Oh fuck, oh fuck, please, no, 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 no. After frantically typing in my username and password, I breathe a sigh of relief. All my money's where it should be. There's not much of it left over from my internship, but it's still there. Well, that's a, well, that's good. Good. But of course, it should be obvious, because that's another thing I remember about Mallow. Mallow. That I mean, is not known to, like, uh, drain your bank account or whatever. <laughs> Just be on the safe side, I make sure two-factor authentication is set to use methods other than ones involving my phone. 
I also changed my reset questions so they aren't guessable. There's not much else I can do on that front, but at least I know to watch my account for any suspicious activity. Speaking of suspicious activity, so does my eye map. Why would she want to recommend such a malicious app? I should ask her about it. Hey, why did you recommend the Mallow app to me yesterday? Uh oh. <gasps> that wasn't hers! It was someone impersonating her! Oh, oh, oh shit! Oh shit! I was basic with prep for the wedding. You sure no one got a hold of your phone? No one but me has touched my phone. And how do you get these messages? Screenshot sent. No, no, that's really weird. Those aren't in my message log. I didn't send those. Oh boy! Looks like Mal. Looks like Mallow has someone involved. Disguise itself as, as, as contacts that you know and trust uh, to uh, get to persuade you to download the app. Damn! What's this Mallow app thing? Did you download it? Unfortunately, yes. Long story. When will you be back? Not until the ninth. Why, are you in trouble? Maybe, maybe not. Could all be an elaborate prank by some hacker. Don't worry about it. Enjoy the wedding! Well, I didn't freak she went out. I probably should have thought things through instead of flying off, flying off the cuff. Uh -oh. Ooh, shit, excuse me. The remainder of my evening is a complete wash. I end up climbing into bed, feeling utterly defeated by the world. I debate whether to leave my phone on or not. I can't get pictures if my phone's off. We might get actual messages from someone, so let's see what happens if we leave it on through the night. I could turn my phone off, but I doubt it matters in the long run. All I'd accomplish is to link what feels like the inevitable at this point. Hopefully, Wolf Schoolgirl won't bury me in photos while I'm out. My dream. The real nightmare is of running from Wolf's Skullgirl across a dark cornfield. I might get a cold sweat in a few minutes before my alarm would usually go off. When I check my phone, there's a photo waiting for me. <sighs> Looks like she's in the main computer lab now. Any computer science major would recognize the Emporium. Oh, she got a big tail there. She, she got a nice big tail. Well, she's not looking directly at the camera. Instead, her side is turned as she focuses on a computer screen. Okay. she could be doing. I set my phone down and start my morning ritual. When I return to grab it, an entirely new photo is on my phone screen. Fuck, that's right, it's not my apartment. Oh, the music picked up. The music picked up. Things get intense now. I always over to the window and carefully peek out the curtains. There's no one on the street when this photo put up. Take it. She has to be tracking me somehow. There's no doubt in my mind now. I turn off my phone for good. But all that do is cut me off from any family, friends, or employer trying to contact me. I can't talk to see one about this while she's away. I can't go to the police. They wouldn't believe me. Yet I have to do something or I'll go insane. It's a good thing I don't have any class today. 
By the way, the furniture barrier I make against my door would be an issue. Wolf's Gold Girl won't be getting through that pile of stuff. Not unless she's a ghost or it comes in through a second story window. Still, mate, it takes me some time to calm down long enough to handle breakfast. My phone deliberately lays out of reach. I dread even looking in its general direction. I'm on edge. So on edge, in fact, I let a high pitched yell point my phone goes off. Yay! Please don't be in hurry, photo. Please! Thank God it's just a news article notification. Oh, thank goodness. Well, well, that kinda, like, makes me feel a little better. <sighs> or is it? On the surface, it reads like your average medical mishap report. Or someone's pacemaker broke, and they ate dirt. The troubling thing is that the breakdown occurred due to the pacemaker's firmware being corrupted. Firmware shouldn't randomly corrupt like that. If someone was running an update that failed, then maybe, but otherwise, firmware stays. Well, work. behind the shower mirror. Was, as soon as I asked that question in my head, why oh, is she in my bedroom now? At this point, I'm running from room to room, chasing after a ghost. Strangely, I don't flush my the next photo. How is she standing in the bedroom now? That was weird. 
The picture shows her all balled up in the sheets, but I can clearly see that nothing on my that nothing on my bed has been disturbed. Though none of my senses can detect her, I decide to try to speak to the seemingly empty this room. Look, I'm about a minute away from smashing my own head in with this bat. What the fuck do you want from me? Why are you doing this? Please tell me. I'm begging you. This make this make sense. My phone makes a new noise, one I've never heard before. When I look at the screen, I see that the camera has been turned on. Did you know the wolf's cover was right in front of me according to life feed. She's just standing there and at, she's just staring directly at me. I'm blinking and moving. Oh, she doesn't have pants on. Oh shit. Oh boy. Can you even understand me? Okay, why are you messing with me? She points in my direction. Is there something about me? What the? My phone? Was it because of that app I downloaded a few days ago? Are you designed to stalk people? Oh, <laughs> I guess you didn't like that. I guess you didn't like that. Why are you angry with me? I'm the one being harassed here! I tried to turn my camera off, but the app just relaunches right away. Well, let's try pointing the camera away from Wolf Skull Girl. She just moves to be in frame. Even though when I put my camera straight up, she simply appears as if looming over me, looking downwards. What should we, should we do? Try and touch her? Try and touch her. My curiosity gets the better of me. I reach out towards where she's sta supposedly standing. I feel nothing. By the camera, I see that my hand faces through her as if she were a hologram. Her expression and tail like, tells me that it has some kind of effect on her, though. So I can't actually touch you, but you still react as if I can. Interesting. Are you going to follow me around my apartment if I keep my phone on me? She, she wagged her again. I see. Well, now that we've established you're harmless, except for draining my phone's battery, <laughs> I think I'll have something to eat. From, from my hand, I head down the hall to the kitchen. Wolf Skull Girl glides backwards as if I move so that she doesn't collide with me at any point. Once I reach the dining table, I set my phone down and flick out the little standing leg on the back. I then pour myself some cereal and sit so I can see the screen. What is this? It's just food. You do understand I have to eat food, right? I tell you to make yourself comfortable, but we've established you're not tangible. She nods once more, then begins inspecting my kitchen. She can't actually open my fridge or the cabinet doors, but that doesn't stop her sticking her head into them all the same. <laughs> watching her as I eat is strangely comical. Way better than watching some streamer while chowing down. <laughs> what? She points out my fridge insistently. What about my fridge? See, there's nothing. Sense of decay hits my nostrils and fills the kitchen. <laughs> I nearly gag as I push my nose and search for the source of the stench. The corporate turns out to make my carton of milk. It's gone bad. Very bad. <laughs> good thing I'm not, good thing I'm the type of monster that doesn't need milk to eat zero. Well, wait, what? <laughs> oh, what the fuck? No, no, no. What kind of monster eats cereal without milk? No, 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 no. He needs to go to therapy for that, man. No, no, he needs therapy for that. Good catch, Wolf Skull Girl. But how can you smell it if you're not basically here? Much, much less through a fridge door. She shrugs. <laughs> right, let me just take this up to the trash then. Be right back. After a quick jaunt outside, I returned my phone. Should I try leaving her in another room? I think now is a good time to test if she'll actually give me some space if I leave my phone in another room. 
My phone's nearly dead. Can you contain yourself so you don't vibrate it off the charger? Good. After leaving my phone in the charger in the bedroom, I settled into my office chair at my desk. Thankfully, my phone doesn't sound like it's vibrating uncontrollably like I was half expecting it to. With that out of sight and out of mind, I start to make some headway on my homework. I'm able to make decent progress by the time the sun's long gone down. I stretch, yawn, and hit the shower before I return to my bedroom. When I check my phone, I see the camera app has been closed. Weird. Help. I jump over around, that's why I see her. She's right behind me in the reflection of my closet door mirrors. Help. Me. Congratulations, you're reaching the 90 hour mark. At this point, you're stuck with Mallow. <laughs> Hope you enjoy this alpha version demo. The full VM will cover the truth behind Mallow and all the twists, turns, secrets that come with it. My hope is that if you're interested enough to follow and support this project as we continue development work on it. Our Patreon page, until next time, ciao. So this were Okay, so from that we can I can surprise that this version of Mallow wants help. But how do we help her? How? How do we help her? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh if you, if you like if you like this video ma ma make sure to hit like and also subscribe if you wish to see more content content and be and be sure to uh, follow me on my other socials so, so, so you can, uh, can, can catch up with what I'm doing on, on there as well and also be sure to join the discord discord uh, uh, to get notifications on on, uh, on other on other stuff With that, that I hope you guys, I hope you get. With that being said, I'll, I'll see you dwellers later. Peace.